This module presentation presents the key differences between the STM32L4RXX 5XX and the STM32L476 L486 devices. The STM32L4 Plus series stretches the STM32L4 technology by offering higher performance. That is to say 120 MHz 405 core mark executing from internal flash memory. The new STM32L4 Plus embeds up to 2 MB of dual bank flash memory and 640 KB of embedded SRAM. It also embeds advanced graphic features, enabling state-of-the-art graphic user interfaces. The Cromart Accelerator, the ST proprietary 2D hardware graphic accelerator, efficiently handles repetitive graphic operations, releasing the main CPU capabilities for real-time processing or even more advanced graphic operations. The Chrome GRC Round Display Memory Optimizer, allowing up to 20% of graphic resources optimization. The LCD TFT controller and MIPI DSI controller supporting two lanes. And 2 times Octo SPI supporting flash and SRAM memory. The system frequency is increased up to 120 MHz while keeping state-of-the-art ultra-low power figures. The new STM32L4 Plus series is fully pin-to-pin -pin compatible with the STM32L4 series, except for the STM32L4R9 and STM32L4S9 lines. The two figures illustrate the LQFP144 and LQFP100 pinout differences between STM32L476486 and the STM32L4R9 and STM32L4S9 lines. Let's have a look at the system architecture changes that we see with the STM32L476486 microcontrollers. The STM32L4RXX4SXX main system architecture consists of a 32-bit multilayer AHB bus matrix that interconnects 9 masters and 8 slaves. The main differences with STM32L476486 devices are highlighted with pink squares. The STM32L4 Plus brings some new features in clock configuration management. The STM32L4 Plus series features additional clock configuration. The main differences with the STM32L476486 devices are highlighted with the pink squares. This table highlights the differences related to RCC mainly for PLL dividers and factors between STM32L4RXXX and 4SXXX and STM32L476XX486XX microcontrollers. In STM32L4RXX4SXX devices, it is recommended to use a transition state while switching from low to high speed or from high to low speed system clock. This slide presents the recommended sequence for the transition state. These slides show the embedded SRAM memory mapping differences between STM32L4RXXX, 4SXXX, and STM32L476XX, 486XX microcontrollers, and the interrupt vectors table as well. The STM32L4RXX, SXX devices feature an additional SRAM 3 of 384 kilobytes. Compared to STM32L476XX486XX devices, the SRAM2 is contiguous to the SRAM1 and it is still mapped at the 0x1000000 address. This slide presents the external memory mapping differences between STM32L4RXXX4SXXX and STM32L476XX486XX microcontrollers. This slide presents the interrupt vector differences between STM32L4RXXX4SXXX and STM32L476XX486XX microcontrollers. We will now go through the key new aspects of flash memory between STM32L4RXX SXX devices 
versus STM32L47X for 8X devices. The flash memory can be configured by option byte or D-Bank in single bank mode with 128-bit read access or in dual bank mode with 64-bit access. This slide presents the flash memory organization in single bank and in dual bank mode. In dual bank mode, the main memory is divided into two banks of one megabyte, and each bank is organized by 256 pages of four kilobytes. In single bank mode, the main memory bank of two megabytes is organized by 256 pages of eight kilobytes. This slide presents the option bytes differences between STM32L4RXX SXX devices versus STM32L47X for 8X devices. In order to read the flash memory, it is necessary to configure the number of wait states to be inserted in a read access depending on the clock frequency. The number of wait states also depends on the voltage scaling range. The two tables present the differences in wait states between STM32L4RXX SXX devices and STM32L47X for 8X devices. More features are also added into the STM32L4 Plus microcontroller, which gives the user more flexibility. The STM32L4R9 and STM32L4S9 devices feature the DSI, or Display Serial Interface, subsystem, and it uses several power supply pins which are independent from the other supply pins, VDD-DSI, VCAP-DSI, and VDD-12-DI. If a DSI peripheral is not used, the VDDSI must be connected to VDD, while VCAP-DSI and VDD-12-DI can be left floating. The main regulator output voltage can be programmed by software in two power ranges, range 1 and range 2. In range 1, the main regulator operates in two modes that can be selected by software. Range 1 normal mode provides a typical output voltage at 1.2 volts, allowing a system clock up to 80 MHz. Range 1 boost mode provides a typical output voltage at 1.28 volts, allowing a system clock up to 120 MHz. The Range 1 Normal Mode optimizes the power consumption up to 10% comparing to Range 1 Boost Mode. When you are using the USB or DSi peripheral, the Range 1 Boost Mode must be selected. The STM32L4 Plus series features the same low power mode as the STM32L4 series, with an additional option to switch off or on the SRAM 3 during Stop 2 mode. The table you will see next details the changes between the series concerning communications and peripherals. This table summarizes the key differences for system peripherals between STM32L4 Plus and STM32L4 series. This slide continues the presentation of a summary of the key differences between STM32L4 Plus and STM32L4 series. Again, the differences are highlighted in pink. And here are some more peripheral updates between the two series. As already said in the introduction, STM32L4 Plus embeds advanced graphic features enabling state-of-the-art graphic user interfaces. And finally, even though we have upgraded many key features of the STM32L4, the working environment remains the same. So the STM32L4 and STM32L4 Plus product family share the same ecosystem software package known as the STM32 Cube. The STM32 Cube HAL is a common library which addresses the entire STM32 microcontroller family. Specifically, the STM32L4 firmware package offers a standard HAL as well as low-layer drivers and examples. So, if you are already using our STM32L4 Cube, you just need to upgrade it from www.st.com to get the latest version. For more details, please refer to Application Note AN5017 about migration from STM32L476XX 486XX to STM32L4 Plus series microcontrollers.